Today we'll be creating this fun shell-shaped watercolour palette. It's made from air dry modelling clay and sealed with clay varnish, so let's get into it. If you'd like to create this palette, we'll be using a 2kg block of white air dry clay, some clay varnish, a butter knife to model our palette, some scissors, a rolling pin and some cling film. Roll out some cling film onto the table. Cut open the block of clay, remove the clay and lay it on its side and using the scissors cut the clay block down the side. When you do this don't cut the clay right down to the base. Leave it about two centimeters shy off the bottom. Lay the two sides onto the base on the cling film. Dip your fingers into some water and smooth off the surface with your fingers. Then lay some cling film over the clay and use a rolling pin to flatten out the clay until it's smooth. Flip the clay over, move the cling film to the side and use your fingers to blend and join the two slabs of clay. Dip your fingers in some water and then smooth this side. Cover the clay again with cling film, roll it flat with the rolling pin, then flip it over and roll it with the rolling pin until it reaches a thickness of 20 to 25 millimetres. Once the clay is rolled to the desired thickness, we can profile cut the shell outline printout. You can find this on our website. Peel back the cling film and lay the profile cut shell shape onto the damp clay. Use the tip of the butter knife to transfer the outline onto the clay. There is a series of dots on the printout that mark where the walls on the palette will lie. These can be transferred with the point of a pencil. Remove the printout and use the edge of the knife to cut out the shell shape out of the clay. Remove the waste clay and store it in an airtight container. Use the edge of the butter knife to smooth off the side of the palette. The butter knife can then be used to vertically cut the edge of where the internal walls will lie in our palette. As we do this we aim to cut to a depth of approximately 15 millimetres. Try to keep the wall thickness about one centimetre. Once the vertical cuts have been made, use the knife on its side to excavate the clay from the inside. Don't worry if the clay distorts and it's a bit rough because we'll be smoothing it all out in the next stage. To smooth it out, we dip our fingers into water and then smooth off and level the bottom of the palette. If there are any areas where there has been too much clay removed, we can add bits of clay and blend it in. The corners can be rounded off with the fingertip. If the walls between the wells are too thin, again we can add more clay to thicken them up and smooth them off. At the bottom of the shell is a couple of shapes that can be halved in size. With the butter knife create a vertical cut first, then a horizontal cut and remove the pieces. Smooth these shapes off 
and then press the handle of a paintbrush into the shapes. These can be used as a brush rest. Let the palette dry thoroughly prior to the next step. In this next step, we'll be sealing the palette with a couple of coats of Montmartre clay varnish. Pour a thin layer directly into the palette and using a soft brush, paint an even layer over the palette. Allow the top to dry, then paint the bottom of the palette. Allow this to dry, then paint a second layer onto the palette. Allow this to dry, then paint the back. Once this is dry, your new palette is ready to load with watercolour paint. If you try this, we hope you enjoy your new palette. We hope you've picked up something that you can use with your art. While you're here, take a look around the Create section on our site and uncover a whole heap of free stuff from free projects, handy tips and tricks and techniques to keep you busy. Otherwise, have fun, keep creating and we'll see you in the next one.